This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve, November 23rd, 2016. I'm Michael Groff, and a warming trend continues for the rest of the week. And the Thanksgiving Day forecast looks absolutely perfect. But that much-advertised change in the weather pattern, we've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now, a turn toward colder and unsettled weather coming our way by the end of the weekend and next week. A lot to talk about, so let's get out there and look at it this morning. Clear skies here in the valley at 10.30 a.m. Beautiful start to the day, at least for me, a little late start. 63 degrees right now at Sky Harbor, dew point at 39, relative humidity 39%. The winds are light and the barometer is falling. Temperatures around the area right now, mostly in the upper 50s and 60s. Skies across the southwest, mostly clear. Some high clouds heading into the central and southern California coast. And on the watch warning map, fairly quiet out there. Some winter weather advisories in portions of Minnesota and Wisconsin from International Falls toward Duluth, Rhinelander, and Green Bay. Also some winter weather issues out here in the west. Washington, Oregon, much of the Intermountain West and the Sierra as well as some wind advisories for Southern California. On the convective outlook, no organized areas of severe weather anywhere across the country today. Some thunder possible along the Pacific Northwest coast, as well as the Texas-Louisiana coast, the Gulf Coast there, and heading into Mississippi and western Alabama. As far as our weather goes for the Thanksgiving forecast and all the dirty details on that big cool down, too, we'll get into all that right now as we take a look at the models. This is the GFS, the 12Z run. Valid at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time today. A weakening trough moving through the Intermountain West today. And a little wave will drop south. But otherwise, mostly sunny skies here in the valley today. Some snow to our north in Nevada and Utah. Don't think we'll see much more than maybe a few high clouds late in the day today. Highs in the low to mid-70s. Tonight, clear skies, very comfortable. Lows mainly in the 40s to low 50s tomorrow little wave continues to drop south, and we'll see some breezy conditions at times, especially along the Colorado River Valley tomorrow. 20 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts possible there. The only other sensible weather effect will be much drier air. Dew points will be headed way down tomorrow. Relative humidity is way down. High temperatures, though, perfect. Middle to upper 70s. Latest GFS shows 77 here for the valley tomorrow, and that seems about right. And again, the sky will be mostly sunny. Black Friday, we start out the day in the 40s to lower 50s. We'll climb into the middle to upper 70s. Could even see a few spots touch 80 degrees. And then on Saturday, we start to see a change in the overall weather pattern across much of North America. Strong high pressure builds into the northern and northeast Pacific. And that causes the upper level flow across western North America to buckle. And a rapid intensification of a trough moving into the Pacific Northwest coast. For us... We'll see slightly cooler conditions, highs in the lower 70s. The sky starts out the day sunny, but we see some clouds increase late on Saturday here in the valley. On Sunday, rapidly deepening low pressure in the central and southern California coastal regions. And we'll see some rain start to develop by late in the day from central to southern California, north and east towards southern Nevada and Utah and northwest Arizona as well. This system will be headed our way, moving south-southeastward, and again, very rapidly intensifying, but it moves mostly over land, and so that's not very favorable for bringing in moisture. Still, with rapid upper-level atmospheric height falls, some moisture will be pulled north. Again, this system becomes very vigorous and has plenty of dynamics with it, so whatever moisture is drawn on in here will be very efficiently wrung out of the atmosphere. So Sunday night, Monday morning looks like the best opportunities for precipitation. This is uh, 11 a.m. Monday, and you still see some rain around here. Not going to be a heavy rain event, but I think a lot of spots may see something. For now, not going to get crazy with the precipitation chances. Only, only going to call for a 20% chance of rain. But as we start to see more confidence in this solution, um, and it's fairly wide agreed upon by the latest deterministic guidance, but I want to see some more run-to-run -run consistency before I increase precipitation chances very much with this. High temps on Monday, this is Monday afternoon as that rain starts to move on out of here. High temps only in the upper 50s. I don't think we make 60 on Monday. Snow levels are going to drop with this system too. Uh, I think by the time the system starts to move out of here, snow levels will be down to around 4,000, maybe 4,500 feet. So places like Globe, Prescott Payson could see some flakes of snow. Here in the valley, of course, it'll be all rain. 
Monday night should be fairly cool lows in the upper 30s and 40s. The low temperature forecast will be a bit tricky because we'll still have some breezes around from these uh, systems as they pass on by. On Tuesday, we're still quite chilly. High temps mid to upper 50s. That's a solid 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. By Wednesday, this is a week from today, November the 30th, and we see another trough headed our way. Heights may rebound a bit, upper atmospheric heights coming back a little bit closer to normal, so high temperatures will warm a bit to the low and middle 60s. This is Thursday, December 1st, the start of meteorological winter. Another very cold system starts to head down here as, again, high pressure builds over the North Pacific and causes rapidly deepening trough over the Intermountain West and a low pressure system to develop near the Four Corners. And if this is right, we're on the dry side, but certainly the cold side of this also. High temps would be only in the 50s, and this is the end of the forecast period, Friday, December the 2nd. And we're still very cold, and I say cold because temperatures, again, well below climatological normals. Uh, early December, normal high here in the valley in the upper 60s. We will only be in the upper 50s at best, and lows in many spots down in the 30s to low 40s. Would not be surprised to see some of the outlying areas of the Phoenix area see their first frost of the season sometime next week. All right, precipitation for the next 10 days. Most of this should occur Sunday night. Monday morning to midday Monday. Looking at uh, amounts, two-tenths, a quarter of an inch, maybe a third of an inch. And again, right now, I don't want to get too bogged down on precipitation chances because this is still a few days out and things can change and we've had a very dry weather pattern overall. But it is looking a little bit more promising that we may see at least some rain uh, from this system. But the big headline is the much colder temperatures. Speaking of those temperatures, here we go off the GFS Ensemble. Uh, warm today through Saturday, but then much cooler. And I think these readings may very well be lower than this next week. So, And those low temperatures could get colder as well. That's a look at the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today, our next video by tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching and have a great Wednesday. Be safe on this, the busiest travel day of the year. Have a great Thanksgiving as well.